Hey there everyone, S. Hugh here. Today we're going to be talking about Guilty Gear Strive's latest character, who is of course Bridget. I've been playing Bridget quite a bit since she came out and I've been watching a bunch of other people play her as well, uh, really trying to figure out what she's all about. So I wanted to do a video talking about my, I guess like initial impressions of the character, as well as do kind of like an overview of what type of character she is and give you some ideas maybe if you're trying to like pick up the character yourself on some of the things that I think are strong about her and give you some ideas how you could possibly play her. When it comes to uh, Bridget's playstyle, I think that she's kind of like three different archetypes into one. It's very interesting because they're not even the type of archetypes that you would think normally go together, I would say. The first one is that she is a setup character. She's like a mix-up character because of her yo-yo. So whenever she throws out the yo-yo, um, it'll sit there on the screen and then she can go for uh, her homing dash after the yo-yo is on the screen. She'll like home in on it. And off of this, she can go for like various high-low mix-ups. And they all seem pretty strong. There's so much room to like explore these setups that like no one's really found the setup yet. People still need to kind of investigate and uh, trim down to what setups you really want to go for. So there's still like a lot of uh, exploration there. But they all seem pretty strong. So she's like a mix-up character, first of all. She's also a mobility character because her yo-yo is not just an Oki tool. You can use it for neutral as well. Because out of the homing dash, you can do air dash back, you can do uh, double jumps, you can press normals to kind of cut your travel time early if you want to. So she has some extra mobility options as well. And then the other thing that she is, is she's kind of a keep away character because she has these very long reaching normals with her like her far slash, with her 5H, and even her 2S has pretty good range. Uh, her jump jump buttons also have pretty pretty good range for what they are. So she's like these weird combination of things where she's like a mix-up mobility keep away character. She's not really the best at any of those things, but she's pretty good at all of them, I would say. Uh, when it comes to her normals, her K normals are pretty good. Her 2K is notably her fastest normal. It's a 5 frame startup low, which is pretty nice. Combos into 2D pretty, pretty consistently. Uh, it's just really fast. Like, this is a very, like, spammable normal, and this is what you're going to be pressing a lot on defense. Her P normals are interesting. They're a little bit on the slow side. Like, 5P, I think, is, like, 8 frame startup, but it has really good range for being uh, a P normal, and it's chainable into itself and 2P, so you can uh, do a lot of interesting pressure where you, like, stagger your P normals, which I think is pretty good, and it will combo into 6K, which 6A is kind of like her way that she converts a lot of her lights uh, into knockdowns. So those are pretty good. I don't think they're amazing, but they are pretty nice and they feel really good to press. I really like just hitting these normals. They feel really, really good. Probably the star of the show for her ground normals are, of course, her S normals. Now, there's something we need to talk about. We need to get this out of the way immediately. Her normals are not disjointed. Uh, pretty much right at the tip of the yo-yo, there is not a hurt box, but the entirety of the string on the yo-yo does have a hurt box. And this causes a lot of situations where her normals are very susceptible to being whiff punished or oftentimes stuffed entirely and getting counter hit. So while they do have great range, they, like they are good, right? They are good normals. They control a lot of space. Because of their hurt boxes, they're not as safe as you would like them to be. You do have to be pretty careful and don't get too careless with how you press your normals in neutral. Uh, but they are good, they have a lot of range. Her 5H also has a lot of range to it. And interestingly, her S and her H normals have a follow-up. So if you hit the S button again, she'll do like a second uh, attack that will knock the opponent away. Uh, same for the H button, she'll do like an extra follow-up that knocks them away. And this allows her to actually get pressure afterwards with one of her special moves, is like her, her scooter, it's a 236K. And you can hold forward to basically move faster and farther. So you can, you know, get a lot of whiff punishes or whatever and then get in there and then pressure your opponent like that, which is a lot of corner carry. Uh, that's pretty good. Her pressure is not like the best. We'll probably talk about that a little bit later. She does have these good normals and they go into like pretty simple just knockdowns into pressure, which is nice. So she like, she has a lot of technical stuff to her, but I think she's also pretty easy and simple to play because you can just kind of rely on your normals and then do basic pressure and stuff like that that which is good uh her 6p is a pretty strong anti-air so far from what i've noticed it maybe is not like the it doesn't hit like behind her basically like it's not going to stop somebody from crossing you up or whatever but anybody that's jumping in that vicinity in front of you is going to get hit it hits pretty high and it hits pretty far vertically in front of you so it, it is a pretty strong anti-air and when it comes to 
uh, a grounded like counter poke, like if you're trying to counter poke someone's far slash. It's also pretty good for that. She gets a knockdown from pretty much any range, as long as you counter hit the opponent, which is pretty nice. That, that's a nice thing to have. It is a little slower than some of the better 6Bs in the game and has a little bit more recovery than some of them. But I would still say it's on the stronger side of the 6Bs in the game so far. Uh, when it comes to her air normals, her air normals are really good air to air normals. Like her normals are fantastic for air to airing the opponent. She does not have the best jump ins though. If you just want to jump in at the opponent, your best bet is probably JS. I think JS is pretty strong for what it is. It's a two hitting normal, which is really nice. It gives you a lot of time to hit confirm a bit and like land and get like a 2k or something, um, which is pretty good about it. But it, it's not that deep hitting and it also has a pretty big hurt box. So if you press JS and someone just happens to press like a far slash or something, sometimes you get hit out of your jump in. Because again, even like her jump ins, they're not disjointed. They have her boxes all the way on the yo-yo string. And that's pretty much consistent with all of her moves. But they are fantastic air to air normals. Her JH is good for it. Her JS is good for pretty much everything. It's just pretty good. And it's a little bit interesting because, you know, I mentioned she has like the extra mobility options, right? And like it kind of involves her being in the air a lot. One thing that's kind of a downside to it, though, and why I think you don't want to use the air mobility too much or you don't want to use it to approach too often is the fact that your options out of it with your normals are not the best. You don't have like the biggest hitboxes to be throwing at people. The, the mobility is more about just that. It's the mobility. You can use it to go over your opponent and get out of the corner and stuff like that. It's not really about like approaching people with it so much because she doesn't have the best jump normals her normals have pretty big hurt boxes and stuff like that you're susceptible to getting anti-aired but if you use it correctly it can be pretty good for mixing up people's anti-airs and keeping them uh guessing in some situations for her other special moves she she has her scooter which i talked about a little bit this special is mostly for uh converting certain hits into knockdowns and that's like the the biggest benefit to it if you get something like a counter hit far slash, you can do like this into a knockdown, which is a lot of corner carry. And then there's also situations like in the corner, something I forgot to mention actually, is that the follow ups on her S and H normals they actually wall bounce in the corner. So if you get something like this, you can convert into the suitor for a knockdown. The suitor has two different follow ups. You can do the K follow up, which is like your basic combo ender. It's very bad on block. It's like minus 33. Do not do that on block very bad for you. She has the break follow up, however, and interesting thing about this is it actually hits really far. You'll notice like it has a pretty big hitbox, actually. This is more what you do to like stay safe at the end of block strings. So if you wanted to do something like this, that's like generally pretty safe. It is minus six. So if you are too close to the opponent, it will be punishable. But Generally speaking, you're, you'll be able to space it in a way where it's not going to be that punishable. The scooter itself is also punishable, but you can guide yourself by either holding forward or backwards, and you can make yourself more or less uh, minus or better on block, basically. There's some interesting conversions you get with it as well. So, for example, one of my favorite things with this character so far is off of like counter hit 5H, you can do something like that because you're getting the scooter to hit them so late that you have more frame advantage than you would otherwise. So there's a lot of fun things like that with it. I don't know how strong it is overall, but it definitely has some applications. She also does have a command grab, but this command grab is probably one of the weaker command grabs in the game. It's 26 frame startup, which is not that fast. It's like pretty, pretty reactable for the most part. And unlike most other command grabs in the game, it is not throw invincible. So your opponent can just throw you out of it. They can also, of course, just backdash it on reaction or like jump out of it on reaction, whatever. It does do decent damage if it hits the opponent, and it is also a hard knockdown, which is pretty good. It's just hard to hit somebody with, I think. So it's not the, the most reliable option. She can do it in the air, which is interesting. And when you're in the air, uh, you can either just let go of the button and she'll do an air command grab. So if the opponent is uh, jumping, for example, you will get scooped up out of the air. You can't block it or whatever. Uh, but the hitbox is not the best for that, honestly, so it's pretty hard to land that. If you hold the button, however, she'll like go down to the ground and do a grounded command throw. Again, I don't think it's very good, but it's pretty funny. You might hit somebody with it once or twice. And then her other special moves we're talking about is her air dive, which is 
Uh, let's stand put for it. There we go. Let's move. So this move is it, it kind of adds to her air game a little bit because again you have like the yo-yo stuff going on and you can cancel the yo-yo stuff into the dive to be more ambiguous with like your air movement so that's pretty good it's not like you know you don't get like a combo or anything off of it but it can throw off your opponent and it's pretty safe on block it's only like minus five and she pushes herself away after the opponent blocks it so it's generally pretty safe to do unless your opponent calls you out and like delays their anti or something. So overall, I think her neutral is like pretty good, but one problem she has for me is that she's not the most damaging character. A lot of the things that she does doesn't really do that much damage. And there's oftentimes where like you can't really convert certain hits. There's stuff where like you'll get situations like this where your far slash won't combo into your 5H, for example. A lot of times where she either can't convert or she can convert, it's not super meaningful. She is a setup character, right? Like I said, she has like the setups where you do the the yo-yo into your homing dot dash and then like try to do a mix up or whatever. The problem with those setups is that you need a hard knockdown usually. And the only move that she has that's a hard knockdown is her sweep. Uh, that and the command grab, but you can't combo into the command grab and it, you know, again, it's not that fast. It's not really going to hit that many people. So while she is a setup character, it's pretty hard to find a lot of situations to actually get the mix-ups going, which is another thing where her reward is not that high because a lot of your hits are just two or three hit combos into basic pressure and not like super damaging combos and not the best pressure. Because when we talk about her offense, a problem that she has is that the frame data for her moves on block are not the best. Pretty much like sure, her close slash is plus one, which is nice, but everything after that is pretty minus so finding situations where you can form mix-ups or like maybe go for tick throws or something they're pretty far and few in between and if you hit your opponent there aren't a lot of ways to convert into like good conversions basically if you had a close slash the world is your oyster you can do whatever you want off of close slash you can just make up combos at that point but outside of close slash nothing out of her tool set is particularly strong for combos um, if you hit somebody with like a 2S, the best thing you can do is something like this. That's like the best you get for the most uh, uh, most part. If you hit somebody with like 5H, the best you get is this, you know? So like most of her frame trap options that you're going to go for are not that rewarding. She does have some stuff like, you know, her, her 6K, for example, on counter hit. If you like frame trap somebody with it, you can get pretty good stuff off of that, I would say. Like there, there are combos off of those things, but they're, they're pretty far and few in between. And then another issue with her pressure is that her special cancels are not the best either. A lot of her special cancels are like, they might be safe, like she can cancel into her yo-yo, which is a standard fireball if you do the 236 version. Uh, but if you do the normal fireball version, like yeah, it, you can end your pressure safely, but it's not very threatening. If you frame trap somebody with that, you don't get anything. And it's minus four on block, so you're just kind of ending your turn, right? Outside of that, she doesn't really have like, another special cancel that she can use she has the scooter but again the scooter is unsafe and all the follow-ups are unsafe the only way to make it safe is if you space yourself but usually if you're pressuring your opponent you're not going to really be able to do that super well right like that scooter into break there was going to be punishable because that's too close so I, I don't think her pressure is like the best obviously it's serviceable you know she has um she has gatlings and whatnot she can form frame traps her strength is that she can just be pretty safe right she can just kind of push herself away and she doesn't really have to interact with you i think she's the type of character that's like pretty good with a life lead but if she falls behind she's gonna have a harder time winning the match because she's not the type of character that just makes miraculous comebacks you know something i will say about the character when it comes to neutral and pressure and everything is the two versions of the yo-yo you have this is like her most remarkable special move you have 236 into either S or H. The S version will throw the yo-yo across the ground, and the H version will throw it into the air. These are basic fireballs. You throw them out, they have a projectile, and then the yo-yo stays on the screen, and you can use your homing dash to go towards it. She has a different version of the yo-yo, however, which is 214 into either S or H. When you do these, they don't have a hitbox when you send them out. Instead, they have a hitbox when they come back, which they come back after a set amount of time. So you can always bank on knowing when they're going to come back to you. I think this version is better for neutral generally because you can move around while it's happening. And you can move in and like take advantage of it if your opponent ends up blocking it or something, which is pretty good. There's also stuff where like, you know, you can throw it out and then do something like this. And now suddenly you're in, right? Your opponent just had to kind of block that out. So I think this is pretty good. You can also do this move when you're in the air. She has a version where she throws it across and a version where she throws it downwards. 
Uh, this applies for both versions of the Fireball, uh, the 236 and the 214 version. The main problem with this is that, for one, it doesn't really go full screen. So if your opponent just walks backwards, they're just going to walk out of the yo-yo. And also, because it goes at a set amount of time and the hitbox is not that big, it's honestly not that hard for your opponent to just jump out of it or like maneuver away from it because you have a very limited window when you can really take advantage of it you can't call it back early or anything so i feel like that makes it somewhat difficult to use but i think it is good in certain situations for sure uh the other special move that's worth talking about she has a dp however while it is a dp it is invincible right you can use it in situations to beat frame traps and whatnot it trades with like everything it is not the most reliable dp but she has one so it's better than not having one it's not very big, it trades with a lot of things, and the Oki, if your opponent gets hit by it, is not the best because you're not really that plus. Uh, you can get like a, a meaty far slash or something, and that's pretty much it. It exists, it's a DP. That's about where the positive ends though, that's it. The last thing I need to talk about this character is the fact that her supers are entirely unremarkable. She has her damage super, it doesn't actually do that much damage in combos. Like, the minimum damage on this super is terrible. It's like one of the lowest damage supers, I feel like. Um, and there's nothing else remarkable about it. It's not invincible. You can't use it as a reversal. It doesn't really do anything of note for you. It's just not very good. But it is the damage super, so you'll use it for that. That's about it. The other thing that you have going for you is you have the Mr. Roger super? That also doesn't do any damage. It's not really that fast, like... The idea is you're supposed to be able to use it to beat fireballs. It's really not that fast though. It like you have to hard read someone's gonna do a fireball or something to beat it. It is plus on block. It's like plus eight, I think, at minimum. But it doesn't really do that much wrist damage, as you can see. It's actually a joke how little wrist damage this does. Like, what is that? But while it is plus, if you're near the opponent, you could just do a Roman cancel and you're more plus. It's literally more plus than doing Mr. Roger. The only other thing that I think is good about the super is that it's a hard knockdown and there might be situations where you can find setups with that. But the other thing about that is that Roman Cancel is also a hard knockdown, so you could just do that. And in fact, you could just do a combo with Roman Cancel instead. I think our supers are two of the worst supers in the game, honestly. I don't think they have really much merit to them at all. So ultimately, I think Bridget is really fun. I've been actually enjoying playing her. I think she's pretty unique also. She doesn't really play like anybody else in the cast. She has like some Axel elements to her just because she has like the big normals, obviously. She has like some Milia aspects to her because she has like some extra mobility and she has setups. But those are pretty like loose comparisons, I would say. For the most part, she is pretty unique, and I think she's pretty fun. Yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on Bridget. Of course, I'm curious to know what you guys think about Bridget. Are you guys having fun with her? Are you playing her still? Uh, do you think she has potential to be strong? Let me know down in the comments below what you think. Of course, if you want to come out and hang out with us on Twitch, you can do that. You can find a link in the description below. I stream five or six days a week. It's pretty much my job at this point to come hang out with us and the rest of the squad. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.